I'm just going to modify my paper car so that I can make it into a rubber band powered car. It won't be very powerful and it won't go very far because it's much too small. But you could apply the same principles and make a much larger paper car and turn it into a rubber band powered car if you really wanted to. Just use more paper to make stronger tubes to make the bodywork from. And that will work for a bigger paper rubber band powered car. Well, it's rubber band powered, but it's got no grip. So we'll have to see if we can put something on those wheels that doesn't crush them, but gives us some grip. Hmm. Test run time. This is the paper car that I made just now. I've cut the back axle tube so that we can get through to the axle. I've added a rubber band and I've cut up a balloon and put it over the back wheels to give us some grip. And we just did about a metre and a half. I don't think we'll get much more out of it because I don't want to wind it up too much or we'll bend the paper. I'm just winding the rubber band over itself so it grips on the back axle. Yes, I have a lot of trouble trying to get any grip with that. Give it one last try. Yeah, we're going just over the metre mark, about a metre and a half if we're lucky. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made entirely from paper. So we've got paper tubes for the chassis and the axle tubes and the axles are made from paper rolled up. 
The wheels are made from discs of paper glued together. Obviously the rubber band isn't paper. And to give it some grip, I've had to cut up a balloon and put strips of the balloon round the back wheels. They're very loosely put on the back wheels because those paper wheels have got no strength at all. So if they're too tight then the wheels just bend. But that balloon happens to be the right size. And that's it. A rubber band powered car made from paper. Job done.